Each skeletal muscle is made up of hundreds of muscle cells called muscle fibers. Each muscle fiber is connected to only one nerve cell called a motor neuron. However, one motor neuron is connected to multiple muscle fibers. The motor neuron along with the muscle fibers it is attached to is called a motor unit. Within each muscle fiber exists contractile proteins responsible for muscle contraction. When your muscles contract, your brain sends a signal to your motor neuron. It discharges this signal to the muscle fibers causing the contractile proteins to interact and form a power stroke, which causes the muscle fiber to contract. All the muscle fibers within a single motor unit contract together. The total force or strength of a contraction in a skeletal muscle depends on the sum of all the power strokes occurring simultaneously within all the cells of a muscle. Since muscles are activated by neurons, the brain is equally as important as the muscles when it comes to strength. When we lift heavier loads, many neural adaptations occur to increase the neural drive to that muscle. Neural drive is defined as the number of signals discharged by motor neurons that innervate that muscle. To put it simply, the more signals discharged results in more power strokes which equates to a larger contraction force and thus the ability to lift heavier loads and therefore a stronger muscle. Increased neural drive is caused by adaptions to motor units and neuromuscular inhibition. When we lift heavier loads, our brain will increase our neural drive by recruiting more motor units, increasing the rate at which those recruited motor units activate muscle fibers, and lastly, synchronize the motor units so that they contract at the same time. When our muscles experience an unusually high amount of tension, such as lifting a heavy weight, our body's protective reflex mechanisms kick in, serving as safety devices by preventing excessive force during muscle contraction in order to protect our muscles against contraction-induced injury. This reflex prevents muscle force production by decreasing neural drive. This process is referred to as neuromuscular inhibition. As you can see, this protective neural mechanism may negatively affect strength and power adaptions. Regular participation in resistance training inhibits this reflex response, therefore reducing neuromuscular inhibition and increasing neural drive.